Okay guys, for the pie crust that we are going to make today, I have here one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and here I have a bowl of cold iced water. It has ice cubes in it, but we're not going to use the ice cube. I'm just using this to keep the water very, very cold. That helps to maintain the form of the crust. Here I have a 9 inch pie plate that we're going to use. This is a ceramic bowl. You can use a metal one, it doesn't matter. And I have one stick of frozen butter that I have cut into very tiny cubes. And if you do this, this makes the process a lot easier for when you're going to mix the pie dough. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do, I do this in the food processor. You can definitely do this by hand, but we are going to do it in the processor today. We're going to put in our flour, our sugar, our salt, and we're going to pulse this a couple of times to get it mixed. Okay, now we are going to add in the cold butter and we're going to pulse it until it becomes the size of small peas. So since this is pretty cold, it should come together pretty quick. And then we're going to pulse it about 10 times or so. Give it a check. It's still a little bit large, so we're going to give it a pulse, some more pulse. Okay, now it's come together nicely. As you can see, it's the size of peas, small peas. Now we're now we're going to start adding the water. Now the water you're going to add a little bit at a time. You just want the dough to come together. Okay, the water we're going to add it through the tube and we're going to add a tablespoon at a time. This will take between four and six. So we're going to turn it on. Just make sure you don't get any of the ice cubes in there. Okay, now we're going to check it to see if it's going to stick to our hands. Let's see, it seems like it's forming a dough already. If you press it and it stays together, it's good. So we're going we're gonna to dump out the pie crust onto the counter and we're going to form a ball. We are going to wrap it in some saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for it to rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so this is, you just want to squeeze it together. You don't want to over mix this because then you'll have a tough pie crust. Okay, so you just want to bring it together. See how nicely it comes together. I'm going to take some saran wrap, put it all in there. And then just press it down into a disc. This is going to be enough for that one pie shell, the nine inch pie shell. You can definitely double this recipe very easily without any other modifications other than to double the recipe. Okay, we're going to put this in the refrigerator to rest and we'll be back to roll it out in a little bit. Okay, now that our pie crust has been in the refrigerator for about a half an hour, we are going to roll it out. And here I have just a piece of parchment paper. Just that helps with it sticking to the counter and we're going to get a little bit of flour and we're just going to sprinkle it on and we're going to sprinkle it on our rolling pin. Okay, then we're just going to roll it out to the size of the pie plate that we're going to use. And like I said, this is a nine inch pie plate. It's a little bit tough to roll it out because it's been in the refrigerator, but it's better this way than if it's sticky. Okay, and that's why I like to use the parchment paper. So I can just turn it without having to pick it up. And if it starts to stick on your pan, you just add a little bit more flour. Not too much because you don't want to make the dough dense. 
the colder you keep it, the better it is because it's not going to shrink up in the oven. See, now it's starting to stick just a little bit. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more flour. Okay, and then how I do it is I just measure it here. So I don't want to go too large. And that should be it. That should be enough. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. And now, I just loosen it up. And I roll it on the rolling pin. And you pick it up, move your paper, and go to the edge. And then you swipe it all the way across. Okay, then you adjust it however you need it. If it gets too short on one side, just pull it gently, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to scallop the edges if you want to. You don't have to. And if you have little rips, just close them up. And you can make a little design if you want. Crimp the edges. If you don't want to, that's okay. You can just leave it natural like that. Do you need any trimming done on the sides, like here, I take my kitchen shears and I go around and cut off the excess. Okay, and now we're ready for the filling. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to prick this so that it doesn't blow up while it's baking. We're going to pre-bake this at 375 for 15 minutes. So we're just going to prick it with the fork so that it doesn't blow up. And that's it. We're going to put this back into the refrigerator, let it firm up again, and that helps with the shrinkage. It won't shrink as much when you bake it. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour, and then we're going to bake it at 375 for 15 minutes. So The pie crust is nice and firm. It's been in the refrigerator. It's going in the oven. 375 for approximately 15 minutes. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, the pie crust is out of the oven. It was in there for 20 minutes. We're going to let it sit here and cool completely before we put the filling in. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, in the meantime, while we're waiting for our pie crust, we're going to get the filling ready. And here I have a, a half a cup of cornstarch and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And we're going to add this to our pot. We just need a small size pot and we are going to add a cup and a half of water. And if you don't hear the recipe, that's okay. I'm going to have it all listed below where you can print it and we are going to stir this up and bring it to the boil just for a minute. So you just want to stir it. Make sure that all the lumps are out. And the heat, I have it on medium heat. Okay, and in another bowl over here, which I have covered with saran wrap right now, I have four egg yolks that we're going to use here in a minute after this comes to the boil. And okay, to make sure that I got all the lumps out, I'm going to use a whisk. Okay, now we're just going to let that come up to the boil. And you need to watch it so that it doesn't flow over. Okay, now that this has come to a boil, I'm going to shut off the heat. It's gotten pretty thick, and now we are going to move you over so we can temper the egg yolks. We're going to have our whisk ready. We're going to take a little bit of the filling, and we're going to start whisking this right away so that you don't scramble the eggs. Because it is hot. Okay, you put some more. And you can see it's well incorporated, nothing got scrambled. And now we're going to pour the egg yolks into our pan. Okay, now we're going to put this back on the stove just for a moment, bring it back up to the boil. Okay, 
Now we're gonna mix this together until well incorporated. This goes pretty quick after this because once it gets thick, it goes pretty quick. Okay, so now everything is well incorporated. We just need to bring it back up to the boil real quick. Okay, now that this is boiling, we're gonna take it off the heat. Okay, we're gonna add in our butter, our lemon zest, it's two tablespoons of lemon zest, and three quarters of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, now we're just gonna mix this all up. And just take it slow so it doesn't spill. Okay, all the butter's melted, pretty much good at this point. Okay, now here we are going to add the pie filling into the pie shell. For the meringue, we're gonna use four cold egg whites, okay? Now the colder the better, because they will puff up quicker. They will fluff up quicker. And we are gonna add one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And we're gonna whip this up until frothy, which takes about two minutes before we add the sugar. Okay, we have this frothy. Now we are going to add, I'm gonna bring you it close so you can see what it looks like. Okay, now we are going to add the sugar. Okay, for the sugar and the vanilla, we're gonna put the, that in next, the vanilla. I like to use a clear vanilla. It's okay if you don't have the clear. I just like for my meringue to be extra light. You can just add the clear, uh, the dark one if you don't have the light one. The sugar, we're gonna add a little bit at a time. Okay, we're gonna add about two tablespoons at a time and we're gonna beat this until very stiff peak. We're gonna continue to add the sugar. Okay, now that this has been beating for about three minutes and you can see very stiff peaks, okay? And that's what we want for the meringue, okay? I'm gonna transfer y'all back over so we can put it onto the lemon filling. Now we are going to lay on the meringue, and the meringue is not fancy, it's not anything. You decorate it how you like it. I have several things that I like to use to decorate my pie. I like to use this little offset spatula and a regular spoon just to get some peaks on there because the peaks are what gonna make the what's gonna get toasted on the pie. Okay, so I just spread it out to the edges, make sure it's touching the edges so that it doesn't shrink up on you. Okay, now that we have all the edges sealed, now you can go and make the little fluffs, the little waves that I call them, and just turn them up like this. Or however you want to decorate it, it doesn't matter. Just get some peaks in there so they can toast up and they look pretty. Okay, now we are going to bake this in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. You just want to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't start to burn in any particular place. If it does, just rotate it in the oven like this and um, it should be fine. Okay guys, I'm gonna pop it in the oven and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, the pie is out of the oven and I did tell you the wrong uh, amount of time. It's only in the oven for 10 minutes. So it's gonna stay in a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. And we're gonna let it sit here and cool and come to room temperature. It's gonna take about an hour, hour and a half and then we're gonna refrigerate it for at least three hours before slicing. And really overnight would be better so that it could set up nicely. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, this is actually the next day. I left the pie in the refrigerator all night and we're gonna cut it, okay? So what I do is I just cut it into slices the first piece is always the hardest to get out of the pan. So I get in here underneath. If you break it up, that's okay. The next one will come out prettier. Okay.
Okay guys, my version of a lemon meringue pie. Smells very lemony, very fresh. And this is a good dessert for any time, any occasion. Now that the holidays are approaching us quicker than we think, you can have this pie, some pecan pie, pumpkin pie, and we're gonna have those videos coming up very soon. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and like our page on Facebook at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, talk to y'all later guys. Bye.